Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today around here is day 81, June 4th, 2020, day 81. Yup, and I'm here and I'm grateful I'm okay. And I hope you are too. And I was watching a movie, I don't remember, Netflix, Amazon, I'm not sure which one. And I remember this line that that character was talking about. And it was about being happy and how easy it is not to be happy sometimes. And she was talking about a quotation from Jane Austen. And the quotation is, I must learn to be content with being happier than I deserve. And there are all kinds of ways you could read into that. And I really liked the part about learning to be content and not so worried about whether you deserve it or not. Because I think, and I'm raising my hand, that a lot of times I, you, maybe all of us, I'm guessing, come face to, I mean, face to face with happiness, which we said we wanted. And yet, some little voice back there, some little niggly naggly voice that one doesn't believe it's true or two doesn't believe it will last or three doesn't believe we've done anything to deserve it because we have this list of what makes us deserving um, sometimes that list is pretty narrow to an eyelash of whether we deserve to be happy because you know what? We have that back of us. It has this huge list. Oh, it's taller than I am about all the horrible, not so nice mistakes, failures, dumb way we've acted incredible things we've said out loud to somebody. And I think that it's really interesting that we have that list and pretty much we can remember everything on that list. And yet when we go to the other list about deserving to be happy, it's so scrawny. You know why? Because we don't feed it. We don't feed it. We feed the big list. We keep adding on to it. And we don't add on to the deserving part. I had a client today and she sent me a, a picture of this little, hers was green and I understand they're about, I don't know, eight different colors or something like that. And they're clickers and they're physical. They're not an app on the phone. And they're just, you can click to count anything. And she was talking about how she found out about that clicker. What I think it was called positivity clicker. And what that clicker started out is that this woman was keeping track of all the negative things, all the things on her list, because she wondered how many times she was negative. May I tell you, she came, and she's not like, if you met her, my understanding is you would not think she was, you know, a down in the hole, dowdy kind of person. She seems pretty regular and upbeat, ups and downs like the rest of us inside, 
in her secret little voice that nobody hears except her, she discovered that she had over 100 negative thoughts. Just what ifs, yes, buts, la, la, la. In the negative form. And she did that for about a week. And she realized she was really not feeling very well. And her attitude had shifted and she was having a harder, a harder time finding joy. And then she had a little talk over here with herself and decided she was going to switch that around. To me, in our language, it's the law of focus. She was focusing on this humongous list back there and adding to it. And guess what? That's all she saw. That list was right in the middle of her face. When she decided to switch it around and focus on her other thoughts, focused on the ones that some people call positive, some people call happy, some people have different names for it, peaceful, serene, whatever they call it, you call it, I call it, and she started clicking those. Well, she didn't come up with as many numbers. It was not 100 a day or more. However, even though some days she had maybe five clicks of what we can call on her deserving list, meaning the positive, the things she appreciated that she was grateful for about herself too, not just out there. And can you imagine and I'm going to ask you to imagine if you, if you can't. And that is that she had 100 negative and she had five positives. And guess what? She started feeling better from five positives and less down because of that 100. The thing is that if you stack a hundred different things on top of each other and you have five underneath, that that five underneath can raise it and topple the other. And you can put that any way that you want. The idea is that the five positives helped her feel better and more deserving. So she began to feel more content about being happy. And after a while, didn't even start to figure out, well, do I deserve it? Don't I deserve it? No. She just said, it is, and I'll take it. And I'm going to offer that you can do the same thing. Maybe Jane Austen thought that she needed to learn how to be happier than she thought she deserved. And I'm going to offer you that you just be happy. Throw it to the wind. Never mind clicking the negative things. Because you know what? There's some little raggedy tag voice back there. Some little renegade. Some little whatever that's going to keep track of that list anyway. So let them have a clicker if they want. Because your clicker about your appreciations and your gratitude are going to be louder. Besides, you're going to be looking and listening to them. Let that other list go.
not to worry about it when you can if you can't then click that clicker on your other side loud and clear look this is what i want more of this is what i'm going to click all right thanks for coming click away click on behalf of yourself because it's your story and your legacy come back i'll be here tomorrow and i will be looking for you you're important bye for now